Danny King. All kind of back on their knee. They're sort of doing this sort of thing. They've got that upper straight. They've got this arm that will just pump it out. They've got strength in this hand to hold it still. So we have to get up like this. We've got to get that body weight up off the ground. We don't sit back. We don't. We use our structure to make up for our lack of upper arm strength. Our arm support. We can use this arm to be melded into this leg. We've got our wrist melded to our shin. And we have support there. And we're back. All this is helping push down on this hand. It's not just my arm holding it in place. We actually do our homework, unlike we demonstrated just getting on this hand drill, right? But we got a fire, right? Okay. We do our homework and we point up the end of our spindle. We flatten the bottom of our, of our spindle so we have maximum contact, minimum contact. We make sure it's straight so it doesn't wobble and we're not working against that force. We make sure the bow has a little bit of a curve so we're not fighting the spindle against the bow. Make sure the string's tight enough. Don't even try to write this down. Just be present. They're ergonomic. I've got a place for that finger. I've got a place for that finger. It holds my hand just right and I can press down. It's slick. It gets slippery. It moves easily. All that's good. When I put the arch of my foot right here, this bone is in the exact right place to hold this bone so I can hold this steady and the spindle steady and everything works. That's why. Okay, if I'm over here, where's this wrist? Over here. Then how's my spindle? Like that. Can I keep it going that way? No, it flips out. See that? My spindle, my string, for this spindle and this bow, it's not tight enough. And I'm going to be wasting a lot of energy ro uh, bowing and not getting any spin, right? So the minute I tighten the string on the spindle I want to use, or use a thicker spindle, either way, I want to work to get it in there. I don't want to break the bow. That happens sometimes. But you should almost. And I want that string to be whoop, tight. Thank you for the opportunity to learn to look at the spindle. Okay, put it in. All right. And then watch this one spin. There's no stopping point there. It's rotating all the time. Hear the difference? I press down. You're gripping in. Nice, Jen. Get right up over it, ladies. Get close. Feel that for a minute. Just there. That's it. That's what you want to do. It's too loose. Pinch it with your thumb and finger like I showed you. There. Go. Better. Go. Nice and easy. Keep her steady. Keep her steady. That's it. Oh, nice. Look at her beautiful form. See her straight chin, wrist bone melded to her shin bone. Leg back behind her. Beautiful, beautiful smoke. Good steady hand. She is not on her best asset. She is up and got the weight over the spindle. That's it. And now the string's starting to slip a little. Now she's moved her hand up the string, but she's shortened the length of her stroke by doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, exactly. pinch the string with your fingers. Mm -hmm. The full length of the bow she does, mm -hmm. so she gets her pull. When it's smoking mm -hmm. out of the knot, you stop. Let's let, like, really hear it. Okay. <laughs>